Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's projects! For our first project we are going to take two stir sticks without the handle and we are going to glue them together like this. Then we are going to take these letters that I made out of foam board and we are going to paint it in blue in that Waverly color that I showed you and that one is hazelnut and the cameo pink. First one we're gonna paint is the blue one, then we're gonna paint the pink one and after that I'm gonna paint the brown one. Then what we're gonna do with that hazelnut paint that and then paint with mineral that tag. Now I'm gonna give it a good dry brush all around those letters because we wanna recre recreate. <laughs> one thing that I saw on Kirkland's, I think it was on Kirkland's and it looked beautiful. Now let's galvanize this and you have seen me do this lots of times but I'm gonna leave you in the cards above a link to a galvanized look tutorial so I can explain it a little bit better. Now we're gonna take moss for this O and we're gonna cover this O completely with that Spanish moss. Just like that, a little bit of hot glue here and there and we're gonna add lots of that moss because we're gonna trim it a little later. Then we're gonna take this piece, piece <laughs> of sturdy burlap and we're gonna cut two cute ears like this ones. And now we're gonna measure those burlap ears and then we're gonna take some of that burnt umber and we're gonna paint the borders like this of those beautiful ears. And those are the cute bunny ears we're gonna put on that moss O. Then we're gonna let it dry after we finish and we're gonna attach those beautiful ears to our moss. But first we're gonna take the burnt umber and we are gonna paint the borders of the tag like this really nicely. We're gonna paint those borders using that burnt umber. And as I told you I saw this inspiration on Kirkland's and I wanted to recreate it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it our own because sometimes we can't find the right supplies on the craft store. And I couldn't find a, that was a grapevine wreath I think for the O. So I made them out of poster board and I'm gonna use this tag that I found at Walmart. So we can add that hippity thingy on the top. You would see why this is my first project in a little while. <laughs> so we're gonna continue painting those borders, then we're gonna let them dry really nicely. After we paint them like this, we let that dry and we take the black Waverly, no, that's Apple Barrel, and we're gonna write in this tag, hippity. Yes, <laughs> we're gonna write hippity on the tag like this. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna glue those ears to the moss O. For that I'm using a little bit of hot glue, then I'm gluing it like this, and then I'm gonna grab some of this lavender from Walmart, let me show you, and we're gonna start gluing lavender all around that moss, like this. And we're gonna continue adding that lavender until we cover all of that wreath. Or oh, <laughs> so we're gonna continue adding those like that, and you can see it's looking beautiful. <laughs> it's gonna look beautiful with the blue H and the pink P. Now I'm gonna make a bow out of this old piece of burlap ribbon like that. Now I'm gonna tie it in the middle, and that's my glue gun bow. <laughs> So we're gonna tie it really nicely and sturdy, then we cut the excess twine like this and then we're gonna come back with the hippity tag and we're gonna remove that label, I forgot, <laughs> and we're gonna add a little piece of twine like we did with the bow. Then we're gonna cut the excess and we're gonna glue the hippity on the wreath like this. Then we're gonna glue the twine on the top of the ear and then we're gonna put the beautiful bow over there. Now we're gonna assemble this and we're gonna start with the O, then we're gonna add the H to the side, and then we're gonna add the P, and we're using the stir sticks for that. 
man, look at this. This is looking so beautiful. The camera isn't making it any justice. I'm so in love with this piece. And it's a hot piece. Today, I'm taking part in the Heidi Sumble's Friend Friday hop. And link down below in my description box is the link to the next channel in the hop. Each channel will be linked to the next person in the hop, which will take you around the full crafter circle. Make sure to leave a comment along the way to be entered into the giveaway. Dad, we are giving away a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Also, you're gonna find in the description box down below the link to Heidi's channel so you can go and check her out. I know you're gonna love her. Now we're making a bunny wreath and for that I'm taking this hanger and I'm just rounding a little bit off the sides like this. Then I'm gonna cut it like this. Well, I'm struggling a little bit, <laughs> but we're gonna cut it like this. And we're gonna cut the other side to make two ears out of that metal. And as you can see, I'm bending it to make it look like an ear. Then we're gonna just push it on our wreath form. And that's a grapevine wreath I found at Walmart, the smaller one. And we're just gonna push it in like this. Let me show you a little bit better. We're gonna push it until you can't push it anymore to the inside of the wreath, like that. Now that we have them there, I'm gonna take the tag off and I'm gonna start with moss covering those ears. And for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small piece of the moss and I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue to the wire and then I'm gonna start adding moss to the wire like this. I'm gonna show you a little bit better so you can see. Well, one of my ears fell off, <laughs> but we're gonna attach that one a little bit later. We're gonna continue just adding the moss like that. And as you can see, I attach my ear, <laughs> not mine, the wreath ear. <laughs> so we're gonna continue adding the moss until we cover both of our beautiful ears. Not ours, wreath ears. <laughs> then we're gonna cut the excess moss using our scissors like this. We're just gonna trim it. Just be careful with the ears so they don't come out. You can add a little bit of wire to hold them. I didn't because then I'm gonna start gluing flowers. Now I'm gonna take those flowers that you see there and we're gonna start with those beautiful pink kind of flowers. I can't remember the name, so if you know that, let me know in the comments below because I can't remember their name. <laughs> so we're gonna add five of those like this and I'm gonna play around with my floral like you see me doing right now before I start adding my glue. And for that, I'm just gonna use hot glue and I'm gonna start gluing my flowers all in the top of my wreath. But don't worry, I know it's looking a little bit bare. We're gonna add lots more to this wreath. So, first thing, we're gonna glue those flowers and then we're gonna move on to embellishing this beautiful, beautiful bunny wreath. And then, after we do this, now we're gonna take those embellishments that I talked to you about. And this is the pick that I'm using. It's from Walmart. It's called Berry Pick, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's really specific. <laughs> but it's a berry and greenery pick. Now I'm just disassembling it and using those pieces to embellish and add greenery to my wreath. And we're gonna do that in between our flowers and in the corners of those flowers, as you see me doing right here. We're gonna continue just adding those like that until we fill those empty spaces. Yes, <laughs> we need to fill those empty spaces. Then we're gonna continue adding and we're gonna add also the berries or beads or whatever they are called <laughs> to the wreath. So we're gonna continue just adding around them, playing with the flowers, filling those empty spaces, making the wreath look beautiful because that's what we want here. <laughs> and after we finish just playing around, we're gonna cover this side, the other side, with more greenery. Then we're gonna attach a bow there. Look, so cute.
And this is the beautiful wreath. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's the cutest bunny wreath ever. <laughs> I just love it. Remember that if you like modern farmhouse, bow decor, and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Also, go and check me out on my social media so we can be friends over there and have lots of fun. And you can see what I'm creating. Now let's make something out of this cigar box from Mr. DIY. So I remove the top and I'm going to use this foam, cutting it to fit in that box. First thing, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that foam like this. And we're going to continue cutting it until we make it fit the box. And as you can see, it can't fit like that. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but I'm going to cut a little piece of the side like this. Really nicely so we can make that foam get in the box like that. And now I'm going to do what I love to do the most. Play with floral. <laughs> and you're using boxwood, roses, those thingies and lavender. And this hydrangea pick. All from Walmart. And we're going to cut them like this and we're gonna start playing with the roses I don't know why they are called roses but they are roses <laughs> and we're gonna start playing with those roses <laughs> on our arrangement like this those are the first one we're gonna add like that and after that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add well, after I continue playing with that, <laughs> I'm going to add the hydrangeas to the flower box. And I'm just mixing them with those roses, purpley kind of roses, to make them look beautiful. Now I'm going to add one of those white flowers that I can't remember their names. <laughs> Did you see that I called them thingies? <laughs> so we're going to just continue adding them and adding our flowers and playing around with them. As I always say, the right way to make a floral arrangement is just make it until you are happy. You have to play with the flor florals or flowers until you're happy with the design that you created. Now, I'm adding some boxwood to the mix. And as you can see, the boxwood is a little bit fluffy, but droopy. Oh yeah, I just explained that like that. <laughs> But that's the effect that I want to create around my arrangement. That droopiness on top of my box. Now I'm just adding some lavender in the back of my arrangement like this. To create or to carry on with the purples and blues that I have on my floral arrangement. And as you can see, I'm adding to the sides. And that's it. And this is the beautiful floral arrangement. Now I can let Mr. DIY buy as many cigars as he wants. Because I can use those boxes. Look at this. So beautiful. Now I want to make a beautiful bunny family. And I have those dowels in yellow and pink and blue and lavender color. So I'm going to paint those sticks one on each color. You can see them here. We're letting them dry. And now what we're going to do that we have them here, we're going to take those beads to measure them and cut cute bunny ears for our bunny family. <laughs> and this is what I meant by that. We're going to attach them like this. So we're going to cut eight of those ears. And now we're going to glue our family together. Nothing like hot glue to glue a family. <laughs> and we're going to glue them. And as you can see, now I'm adding the heads to them. The first one is Sebastian. Then Mr. DIY. Then we're going to go with Miss Kiki. <laughs> and then here goes Ian. <laughs> and after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the beautiful bunny ears to my bunny family. <laughs> they didn't like this idea. <laughs> so we're going to continue just adding the ears like this. Until we have four cute bunnies. <laughs> and then after that, that we have our cute bunnies, we're going to just embellish this beautiful bunny family by adding some twine around it and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap it around like this 
And then I'm gonna glue the excess like that. We're gonna make a cute mini bow. And after we make that cute mini bow, we're gonna glue that to the front of our beautiful bunny family. And you see me here just struggling a little bit with my bow. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> so after I struggled with it, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna glue it to my family and that's it. And here we have the cute bunny family. As I told you, my family didn't like the idea, but I think they are so, so cute. For our last DIY, we are gonna make a beautiful wood round sign. And for that, I'm just gonna paint this tray that I found at Walmart white and i'm gonna let that paint dry really nicely before i move on to the wood process <laughs> we're making wood out of metal <laughs> and then i'm gonna take some antique wax and we're gonna use a brush to brush that antique wax on top of that white paint if i can recommend you something instead of using that acrylic paint for the base coat use spray paint instead because it was peeling because i didn't use the spray paint yes but use spray paint matte flat flat matte okay flat flat white <laughs> spray paint and then just apply that antique wax then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a little bit of white to my paint brush like this and i'm gonna give white strokes to that antique wax. This is a technique that I'm just loving since this year started. I don't know what happened to me, <laughs> but I just love to mix the antique wax with some paint because it looks beautiful. Now we let it dry and I'm using this cutout that I made out of a bunny. You can download the printout on in the internet on Google and make it or you can just freehand it as I did with this one. Now I tried to cut it without pinning them down but that won't work so I'm gonna pin this bunny down paper one to the felt so we can cut it a lot easier because I was struggling <laughs> so we're gonna pin it like this add as many pins as, as you want or need and after that start cutting your felt like this and as you can see, I gathered my felt around because it makes it easier to cut felt. That's my trick to cut my felt. And after we cut that bunny, we're going to repeat that with the blue and the cream felt that you see on the side. And we're going to have three bunnies. Like this beauty. <laughs> Now we have our three bunnies, look at that, they are so cute. And what we are gonna do is we're gonna add them to our frame, frame, no, our sign. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna hot glue them to that sign, like this. We're gonna glue all of them to the sign. They are looking so cute. <laughs> So we're gonna glue them to the sign like this really nicely just like that then we glue the other one and we're gonna start adding words to our sign and I'm using this square wooden letters that I found at Walmart they are like Scrabble thingies <laughs> yeah I just use thingies for everything <laughs> so we're gonna glue them to the sign and the first thing we're gonna add is the welcome and you would see me add after that spring because welcome spring but first we're gonna add some pom-poms to the tails of our cute bunnies and for that i'm using white pom-poms from walmart you can add pom-poms from everywhere even from your stash then i'm gonna add the word spring and I'm using the same wooden letters because I tried to just freehand that and it wasn't working. <laughs> so I'm going to add those wooden letters because they look so cute over there. And I think I did better than just handwriting. Then we're going to remove that that I forgot to do that at the beginning. And we're going to flip it over. Be just careful that you have the top to the top where you want to put that rope. <laughs> because it happened to me and I had to remove it <laughs> so we're gonna start just gluing it like this to the back 
And now you can see what happened. <laughs> and we glue that and that's it. We have a beautiful sign. And here we have the beautiful bunny sign. As I told you, it was just a little bit scratched. So stick to the flat white paint. <laughs> and here you have them all together so you can see them one last time. Remember to leave a comment in this video and also that in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to the next person in the hub so you can go there and watch her and leave her a comment so you can be entered into the giveaway. Remember that you have to leave a comment all around the hub to be entered on this awesome giveaway. And remember also that if you like this video, share it with a friend also hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to keep on watching these type of videos and if you want to hear a lot more of silly jokes <laughs> take care my beautiful friends bye bye